Hi everyone, today we're diving deep into the world of AI, but not the fun, helpful kind. We're talking about the AI that can disrupt your life, steal your data, and basically turn your digital world upside down. We're living in a time where artificial intelligence is everywhere, and while it's making things easier and more efficient, it's also opening up a whole new world of threats. Think about it, AI is learning at an insane pace, and that means the bad guys are using it too. We're talking about AI-powered viruses and hacks that are smarter, faster, and way more sophisticated than anything we've seen before. So if you're thinking, this doesn't apply to me, trust me, it's time to pay attention. In this video, we're breaking down the top 5 most dangerous AI viruses and hacks that are out there, how they work, and what you need to know to stay safe. Let's get into it. Our journey into the world of AI-powered attacks starts with Stuxnet, a piece of malware that really set the stage for how sophisticated and targeted these attacks could be. We're talking about a virus that was so precise, so well-engineered, that it targeted a very specific piece of industrial equipment, centrifuges used in uranium enrichment. Now this wasn't just some random hack, Stuxnet was reportedly a joint operation between the US and Israel, aimed at disrupting Iran's nuclear program. The crazy thing is, this wasn't some smash-and-grab attack. Stuxnet was designed to be stealthy, to fly under the radar and slowly sabotage the Iranian nuclear program from within. It infected the control systems, manipulated the centrifuges to spin at dangerous speeds, all while making it look like everything was functioning normally. The impact was huge. Stuxnet reportedly destroyed about 10% of Iran's centrifuges, setting back their nuclear program significantly. But here's the thing, Stuxnet wasn't just a wake-up call about the vulnerability of industrial systems, it was a glimpse into the future of cyber warfare, where AI-powered attacks could cripple critical infrastructure without firing a single shot. So, how did Stuxnet actually use AI? Well, it was all about being adaptable and stealthy. Stuxnet didn't just blindly attack any computer system it came across, it was programmed to identify very specific configurations of industrial control systems used in Iranian nuclear facilities. Think about it. It had to sift through tons of data, recognize patterns, and then make decisions about whether or not to launch an attack. That's AI in action. And once it was inside the system, Stuxnet didn't just go on a rampage, it was designed to be subtle, to slowly increase the wear and tear on the centrifuges over time. This meant constantly monitoring the system, adjusting its attack strategy based on the data it was gathering, and making sure it stayed hidden from the engineers monitoring the facility. This kind of adaptability and stealth is what made Stuxnet so effective, and it's something we see in more advanced AI-powered attacks today. Stuxnet might be old news in the fast-paced world of tech, but its legacy continues to shape the cybersecurity landscape today. It showed the world the potential of AI-powered attacks, not just in terms of their destructive capability, but also their precision and stealth. Stuxnet raised the stakes, making it clear that nation-states were willing to invest heavily in developing sophisticated cyber weapons. This sparked an arms race of sorts, with countries around the world pouring resources into developing their own offensive and defensive cyber capabilities. And the scary part is, the techniques used in Stuxnet, the AI-powered adaptability and stealth, have trickled down to less sophisticated attackers. So, while Stuxnet might have been a highly targeted attack, it paved the way for a new generation of AI-powered threats that could target anyone, anywhere. All right, moving on from the world of nation-state attacks, let's talk about WannaCry. Now this wasn't some covert operation, this was a full-blown global ransomware attack that made headlines everywhere and showed just how quickly a cyber attack could spread in our interconnected world. In 2017, WannaCry hit the internet and it spread like wildfire. We're talking over 200,000 computers infected across 150 countries, businesses, hospitals, government agencies, you name it. This thing didn't discriminate. It exploited a vulnerability in Windows operating systems, encrypting files and demanding ransom in Bitcoin to unlock them. Now, while the initial infection vector wasn't AI-powered, the way WannaCry spread and the scale of the attack were definitely amplified by some clever automation. This wasn't a group of hackers manually targeting each computer. This was about speed and efficiency. The impact was massive. 
hospitals had to delay surgeries, businesses were crippled and the total damage was estimated to be in the billions of dollars. WannaCry was a wake-up call about the potential of even relatively simple malware to cause widespread disruption when paired with automated spreading techniques. Okay, so WannaCry wasn't using AI to like write its own code or anything, but the automation it used to spread was definitely a key factor in its success. See, WannaCry took advantage of a vulnerability in Windows called Eternal Blue, which allowed it to spread laterally across networks without any user interaction. This meant that once one computer on a network was infected, WannaCry could automatically scan for and infect other vulnerable machines without anyone clicking on a malicious link or downloading a suspicious file. It was like a digital chain reaction. And to make matters worse, WannaCry used a technique called Server Message Block, or SMB, which is a common protocol for sharing files and printers on a network. This meant that it could spread rapidly within organizations, infecting entire departments or even entire companies in a matter of hours. The automation built into WannaCry turned a potentially containable outbreak into a global epidemic, highlighting the dangerous combination of even relatively simple malware with sophisticated spreading mechanisms. WannaCry might be old news but the lessons we learned from it are more relevant than ever. First off it showed us the importance of keeping our systems patched and up to date. That vulnerability, Eternal Blue, that WannaCry exploited? Microsoft had actually released a patch for it months before the attack, but the problem is, many organizations and individuals don't prioritize patching their systems, leaving them vulnerable to these kinds of attacks. Secondly, WannaCry highlighted the importance of strong network security. Segmenting your networks using firewalls and implementing strong password policies can help slow down or even prevent the spread of malware like this. And lastly, WannaCry reminded us that backups are crucial. Imagine if everyone hit by WannaCry had up-to-date backups of their important files. They could have just wiped their systems clean and restored their data without paying a dime in ransom. So yeah, WannaCry was a mess but it taught us some valuable lessons about cybersecurity that are crucial in the age of AI-powered threats. So, we've talked about Stuxnet, a very targeted cyber weapon, and WannaCry which was much more widespread. Now let's dive into DeepLocker. This one's different. It's not about causing immediate chaos, it's about stealth. Imagine a virus so smart it can hide inside legitimate software completely undetected until it reaches its target. DeepLocker was actually a proof-of-concept AI developed by IBM Security, not a real-world threat. But that's what makes it so unsettling. It demonstrated how easily AI could be used to create a new breed of stealthy malware. Think about it, traditional antivirus relies on signatures, basically identifying malware by its code. But DeepLocker can bypass all that. This AI is trained to recognize very specific triggers related to its intended victim. It could be anything. A specific location, a certain type of network traffic, even the victim's face detected through a webcam. Only when all those conditions are met, DeepLocker activates its malicious payload. This level of sophistication is what makes AI-powered threats like DeepLocker so dangerous. It's not just about the damage they can do, but the fact that they can remain hidden, potentially for years, before striking with laser precision. NotPetya, detected in 2017 is one of the most costly cyber attacks ever. It caused billions in damage, targeting master boot records. Even paying ransom didn't recover data. It crippled shipping, pharmaceuticals, and even Chernobyl, highlighting our vulnerability and the importance of cybersecurity. One of the craziest things about NotPetya was how quickly it spread. We're not talking about a few hundred or even a few thousand infected machines but tens of thousands across over 100 countries. It was like someone lit a match and the whole digital world went up in flames and the way it spread was just as insidious. See, NotPetya exploited a vulnerability in a piece of software called Eternal Blue which was actually developed by the NSA. It's a powerful tool but in the wrong hands it's incredibly dangerous. Once NotPetya got a foothold, it could jump from computer to computer, network to network, without any user interaction. Now this wasn't just some random attack. Experts believe NotPetya was actually a state-sponsored attack, aimed at disrupting Ukraine's economy and infrastructure. It's a chilling thought that a piece of code can be weaponized with such devastating consequences. The scary part is, NotPetya wasn't even that sophisticated. It relied on existing vulnerabilities and some clever social engineering. 
It just goes to show that you don't need to be a coding genius to launch a massive cyber attack. So, what can we learn from NotPetya? Well, first and foremost, it's a wake-up call. Cybersecurity isn't just about protecting your personal information anymore, it's about protecting critical infrastructure, businesses, and even entire countries. Second, it highlights the importance of keeping your software up to date. That vulnerability in Eternal Blue that NotPetya exploited, it had already been patched by Microsoft but many companies hadn't bothered to install the update. It's like leaving your front door unlocked, you're just asking for trouble. Finally, NotPetya shows us that cyber attacks are no longer just about stealing data, they're about causing chaos and disruption. And as AI continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more sophisticated and dangerous attacks in the future. So what can you do to protect yourself? Stay informed, keep your software updated, and for goodness sake, use strong passwords. Alright, let's move on to our next AI threat. Alright, so we've talked about AI viruses that can cripple businesses and disrupt entire countries, but what about attacks that target critical infrastructure? That's where black energy comes in. This isn't just some ransomware attack, this is about hacking into the systems that control our power grids. Black energy first emerged back in 2007, targeting businesses and financial institutions, but it wasn't until 2015 that we saw its true potential for chaos. That's when hackers, believed to be backed by the Russian government, used black energy to launch a coordinated attack on Ukraine's power grid. Imagine this, it's a cold winter night, you're at home with your family and suddenly the lights go out. Not just in your house, but in entire cities, that's exactly what happened in Ukraine. Black energy allowed the attackers to remotely control circuit breakers, plunging hundreds of thousands of people into darkness. This was a game changer. It showed the world, that cyber attacks could have real-world physical consequences. And as we become more reliant on technology, the potential for damage only grows. Now you might be wondering, how do you even hack into a power grid? Well, it's a complex process, but Black Energy provided the attackers with the tools they needed. First, they used spear phishing emails to gain access to the networks of Ukrainian power companies. These weren't your typical spam emails, they were carefully crafted to look like legitimate messages, tricking employees into opening malicious attachments. Once inside the network, Black Energy allowed the attackers to move laterally, gaining access to critical systems. They then deployed specialized modules designed to interact with industrial control systems, the brains of the power grid. These modules allowed them to remotely open and close circuit breakers, effectively shutting down portions of the grid. But Black Energy wasn't just about turning off the lights, it also had data wiping capabilities, designed to erase evidence of the attack and make it harder to restore power. This was a deliberate targeted attack, aimed at causing maximum disruption and chaos. The Black Energy attack was a wake-up call for governments and organizations around the world. It showed that critical infrastructure, once considered off-limits, was now a prime target for cyber attacks. And as our power grids become increasingly interconnected and reliant on technology, the potential consequences of a successful attack are only getting bigger. So what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, for starters, we need to beef up security around critical infrastructure. That means investing in more robust cybersecurity measures like intrusion detection systems and stronger authentication protocols. We also need to educate employees about the dangers of phishing attacks and other social engineering tactics. A single click on a malicious link can give attackers the foothold they need to launch a devastating attack. And finally, we need to be prepared for the worst. That means having backup systems in place, so that if one part of the grid goes down, we can quickly reroute power and minimize disruption. The Black Energy attack was a wake-up call, but it's also an opportunity to learn from our mistakes and build a more resilient future. So, we've covered some pretty scary stuff today. From Stuxnet to Black Energy, AI-powered attacks can cripple businesses and threaten infrastructure. It's enough to make you want to unplug from the grid entirely. But we're not powerless. Awareness is the first step. The more we know, the better we can defend. And that's where you come in. By watching this video, you're already taking a proactive approach to cybersecurity. Keep learning, stay informed, and spread the word. The more people who are aware of these threats, 
the harder it will be for the bad guys to succeed. But knowledge is only half the battle. We also need to take action. That means keeping our software up to date, using strong passwords, and being wary of suspicious emails and links. It also means demanding better security from the companies we trust with our data. Look, the world is changing. AI is here to stay, and so are the cyber criminals who are using it for their own nefarious purposes. But if we work together, share information and stay vigilant, we can stay one step ahead of the bad guys and create a safer, more secure digital future. And hey, if you found this video informative, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the world of technology and cybersecurity. Until next time, stay safe out there.